Hi everybody, it's just after the 4th of July weekend here in Western New York. I am Jennifer Russo, the Viticulture Extension Specialist for the Lake Erie Regional Grape Program, sponsored by Coronel Cooperative Extension. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about drainage. I don't know if you've had the same weather as we've had in this area. We've had a couple of nice days to dry out a little bit, but we're expecting a lot more rain coming on and it's been rather chilly as well. So what happens to your vines if their feet are wet? If there's too much water, they're not going to have the growth that you're expecting. And if there's standing water like we have over here, so these are our Niagara's here on the research farm. We've got a lot of standing water here. It's heavy clay soil. There are things that you can do to help your vineyard out if that is your case. And that's put in drainage tile. We're going to show you some video coming up that we saw of a vineyard being tiled today. But I want you to notice the growth here on these are our Niagara's, like I said. Their feet are really wet due to this wet spot down here. So there's not a lot of growth on these vines. They're suffering and they're just not as healthy as the vines we have further along in the vineyard. And another way you can tell if you can't visually see it is that you can use our free sensor program and run the NDVI and it'll tell you where your vines are weaker. And if you run down those vines and go check those hot spots out, it might be able to pinpoint where you're going to need tiling and where you won't. So the whole process consists of finding a tiling company that can come out and do the work for you if you don't have the capability of doing it yourself. The video you're going to see today is a company that actually uses GPS location and it maps the topography first to make sure it can give you the appropriate slope or grade so all that water has some place to go. They're going to put the drain tiles every other row down that vineyard that's really wet and it's going to all join into a long main drain that then empties out further away from the farm taking all of that water away from the vines feet, away from the roots. We all know we need healthy roots to grow healthy vines and allowing that growth to pick up after you get rid of that water. They map the vineyard and that's GPS that goes down and allows them to know how deep they have to put that drainage tile to make it a consistent grade so that it can drain out into the main tile and away from the vineyard. After that, they bring in, they had to dig a big hole to find where that main line was and then they use a saw to cut the circle hole and put in the adapter which snaps in and connects the, the drain tile. From there, they insert the blade and just drive right back up, feeding the tile through and the, just kind of folds, the earth folds back over it. And then you can see, so the, then the big blade goes down in, they feed that drain tube into that. I know it's called tile, but it's more or less a perforated tube that allows the water to penetrate and leave the vineyard. So they feed that tube down into the program, flip it up over the machinery and just drive. And that GPS knows at what level it has to either come up or go down to keep that grade consistent throughout the entire row. So getting the water out of your vineyards is very important for the health of your vines. Well, we just wanna talk about and show you the difference between some of the vines in one block on our farm, just due to the water that is sitting in this pocket over here. We have really heavy clay soil in this area. And you can see just by my footer, my boot going in there, that it's so wet right here. And if you look at the growth on this particular Niagara vine, it's not so healthy. You can see right behind it, the standing water that we could use some tiling over here to get away. This is what happens if you've got standing water or really wet soils. The vines don't like their feet wet. They're not gonna have the healthy root system to grow the healthier vine. We're gonna walk down just a little bit. This is the same vineyard block to see the difference in the soil that's got a little bit better drainage and growth. We're just walking a little bit up a grade here and you can see that the soil itself is already drying out. If you look at the vines as we get up, there's more vigor. So as you can see, this is the same vineyard, just a couple panels up and the soil is a bit more dry out over here. It's not as wet and damp on the top and look at the difference in the vigor. Grapevines do not like their feet wet. Sometimes tiling your vineyards is needed and necessary for healthy growth and healthy vines. If you have any questions or comments or any suggestions of future podcasts, please leave them in the comments below.